The fine folks at Google have created a cool little drawing tool called AutoDraw. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. It's completely free. It's called AutoDraw.com. What you can do is you can click on this little AutoDraw button on the left hand side and you can start to draw something and it will try to guess what you're drawing. So for example, I'm going to draw a sailboat here. So here's my left sail. Here's my right sail. And as I start to draw it, you can see here at the top, it's thinking and guessing as to what it is I'm drawing. So it thinks it might be a pyramid, for example, or a nose. And as I make this now into a boat and I draw the ocean underneath it, we can see now it thinks, oh, maybe it's a ship. So when I click on the ship, you'll see it now changes into a pretty professional looking drawing. Now it's very simple graphic, mind you, but what you can do with this now is you can modify it. So here, for example, you can change the color of it and I change it to purple. The whole drawing will change to purple. It's pretty easy to do. You just select and you can select a color. You can also fill inside the color. So when I select the fill button and then I pick a different color, for example, yellow, I can fill inside the sails. You can even change the background if you like as well. I'm going to select green, for example, and then I'm just going to fill outside of it. So you can make a pretty cool looking simple graphic. I'm just going to change that back to white just like that. Now, if you want to save your drawing, you can. There's a little menu here on the top left. You just click it and there's a download button right here and that will save it as a PNG file. And if you want to start over, you simply click the top left menu and you can say start over and you can pick a square, a portrait or a landscape piece of paper and I will start over from scratch. So here, for example, what am I drawing? Any guesses? Instead of a boat, I'm going to draw two tires here. I'm a terrible drawer. I'm using my mouse and we can see it's pretty smart. It's guessing I'm trying to draw a car. And so now I can select the graphic. I can select a really detailed graphic like a police car, a race car. There's all sorts of drawings here. Now you can also add text to it as well. So by clicking the type button here on the left, you can then start typing into the little window here. Happy birthday, for example. You can even change the font here. There's a little font button here at the top. There's some very basic fonts, but it does work. So if you wanted to create a birthday card or something, you can create a very simple social media post. This obviously isn't some super high end graphic design tool, but if you're looking for very simplistic drawings, maybe for a t-shirt, birthday card, social media post, this can be a really cool feature. You can also delete something if you're not happy with it. So here I'm going to select the car. I'm going to select delete and I can delete it. Control Z undoes it. And then you can also select it again. You can also move it, make it larger, smaller. You can even stretch it, make it skinnier, rotate it. All sorts of very simple graphic design elements. It's a really cool feature. I suggest you give it a try completely free. It's called autodraw.com. Here is another video on how you can have some fun in the graphic design workspace.